my top three games of 2023. So starting with number three, Jedi Survivor. Oh my god, such a freaking good game. I literally took off three vacation days to play this game. I took naps in between and the, the, the I don't understand how this game didn't get anything for game of the year. I think that they should have gotten at least best music score. That's what I think they should have gotten because the music in this game just it takes me away from my current life and it just puts me in to Star Wars and Cal's Adventures and freaking Scoop a Save. Uh, I cannot wait for the third game to come out and they, they literally confirmed the third game is going to come out. I am so excited. I can tell you right now this series is the reason why I got back into gaming. It's the reason I got my nickname Shivaka. Um, I really want to go back and through and play Jedi fallen order because i missed so many achievements i just played the game to get through the story and i completely forgot that there's achievements mainly because i'm i haven't played games in at the time in like a decade so but yeah i'm not surprised this is my top three game at all so i want to add this real quick the fact that they added a book a month they came out with a book a month before uh, the game came out that had a fit like, it was basically two years after Fallen Order and three years before Jedi Survivor. The fact that they added that for people who really wanted to know what was happening to them is just mm, thank you. Thank you for that. It was a great book. I mean, so much information to a point you didn't have to read the book, but it was good to have, you know. When it comes to Fortnite, Fortnite has been sucking. I'm not surprised. It's number two because it's my most multiplayer game. I love multiplayer games. I honestly played the shit out of this OG season and the season after, I think the season before OG season. I didn't buy the, the battle pass for that, the season before OG season because it was kind of trash. But OG season, I bought the shit out of that pass. Um, I didn't get everything because I still wasn't playing enough, but that's mainly why I would think that it's my number two. Other than that, the rest of the seasons I haven't been playing that much for. In this season, I'm not playing that much for either. I, I'm not happy with any of the new guns. I'm not happy with a lot. To a point, they tried too hard. They tried too hard for a Fortnite season. They added too much. Can we just go back to, can they just add the freaking island from OG season and have it as like where we can just do, I don't know, anything. Just keep that island so we can like play on and off for 1v1, I don't fucking know. Except for the Lego, the Lego part of it's not bad. It's fun, it's, it's, it, it, but it's, it's too much. You know, you know, they added too much because they wanted to keep us our attention and sometimes, sometimes simple is better, yeah. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? I, for a quick second, I thought I spent that many hours in a year and then I said total. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Total hours, because I've been playing since 2020. I would say, I would say I put probably a quarter of that this year. A quarter of that. I played, it was to a point when, the, when the 10 year anniversary came around, I played the shit out of the game. They had a lot of good, three times the money in RP, death matches and also halloween is the best time of year i love the halloween i literally haven't really played in over a month i'm not gonna lie like seriously sit down and sell a bunch of shit i don't know i just i get in that mode where i play for like two months straight and then i don't play play anymore i literally forgot that i ha had um new year's resolutions for the game and I was gonna try to get up to level 250 this year, but I am only at level 217. For playing on and off, not bad. Like I'm now considered, after you get to 200, that you're now considered a regular player, is what my crew member, team lead, whatever it's called, uh, told me. So that's my top three games of the year. I'm not surprised at all. I really need to find more. My thing is, I have so many games that are half done. Like, I have Alice Return, Madness Returns, or whatever. That's a quarter done. I have a lot of the uh, Tomb Raider games. I bought all three of them when they had a sale. 
and I have the first one, the quarter done. I tried playing that yesterday and she froze on me. So I don't know what's up with that, but I think I wanna play another game I wanna play is It Takes Two because I heard it's, someone told me it's multiplayer, which I want. I wanna be able to play with my friends. I want Baldur's Gate 3, but I don't, really want to play 70 pay 70 i expected it to be a game pass since it's game of the year but they want their money so that just makes just because it's game of the year doesn't mean it's gonna be an xbox game pass but i was just open i was open maybe in the next month or two when i have money so but yeah thanks for uh wasting your time having me talk about my top three games this year if you have any recommendations for games that are multiplayer that are good besides the one that I mentioned in this video, go ahead and comment below. Maybe I'll check it out. But yeah, bye.